Fig Newton. I still find it hilarious that because I, I kind of mentioned this before when I was um because I couch like I was telling some guy he can't park his um his bike inside the car corral and he got mm-hmm. so pissed when I called him out on it and I'm walking away and he's constantly calling me fag faggot faggot it's like oh what is your pro- like what the hell's your problem like. If you're trying to insult me with that word, I'm not going to, like, take it offensive at all. I would take that as, like, I don't know, I guess a compliment? I don't know. It's like when, usually, like, I, I kind of want to say this one, but I think you'll probably get restricted. <laughs> but let's just say, if someone were to throw a certain insult at me, and I, you know, because I'm Hispanic, I think the response to me would just, I think my response would just be, I'm allergic to beans, thank you very much. Beans. Um, dude, I could... <laughs> You probably heard the mosh pit joke. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rosa. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I about while we wait for Solar or someone to join, we could do like uh, free for all. Yeah, let's okay. do that. So. And, uh, I heard a cold one. I heard a cold one. Hmm. Free for all. No, no, no. We'll make. It needs a fourth player, so I just threw in a bot. <laughs> oh, of course you put me on the end. Mm, motherfucker. What? What the fuck? Um. Okay. What's an what? odd set of. Uh... Ultra Warrior Shaggy. Uh, d- yes, select this character. X. Confirm. Oh. I'll play. You have Morty. to press confirm. There you go. Why is he all freaked out like that? He's Shaggy. You know it's true. Just another. Fu- How many skins are there? A lot of There's skins. A bunch. There's like three for Shaggy. Ask Golden, favorite Warner Brothers property. Um, I don't know. Like, I will say this much. Um, actually, does Tom and Jerry count? Because I thought they were uh, owned by MGM. I have no idea. Uh, no, they were owned. Well, I know they're associated with, like, Warner Brothers nowadays. Uh, I think yeah. it's because they were owned by Hanna-Barbera. Yeah. So, okay, I, I guess Tom and Jerry doesn't count for a Wooby property. So, um, since the 90s. Oh, that's right. It kind of reminds me of when they, uh, I think they went and owned the property to make the movie. Back in the 90s. Yeah. God, that movie was terrible. With Richard Kind as fucking uh, Shaggy. No, I'm talking about... Um, I'm not Tom Shaggy. And... As, uh, yeah, as Tom, I mean. Richard Kind as Tom. Yeah, no, just the fact that they gave Tom and Jerry dialogue is just so, like... Like, they have spoken before, but not to the point where it's just pure dialogue. Because I know that they've had, like, a line or two. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, you son of a whore. <laughs> I'm cleaning. You're clinging? I'm cleaning. Don't mind me. Jesus, I just saw... Gr- I just saw Black Adam got sent to the moon. <laughs> oh, nope. Show me what you got! Which is quite literally a bunch of cartoon characters kicking each other's asses. Oh, what the fuck? Why can't I move? No. Oh! Well, I got my ass kicked by the other Shaggy. (laughs) That was me. (laughs) It was me, Barry! Ow! It was me, Barry. You know that mo- there. 
you came in your pants. As oh, you got say hi to face. Mr. Meeseeks. That was me <laughs> jerking you off at supersonic speeds. You didn't even see me. You know the fun. You know the weird part is after the whole bullshit that happened with um, Ezra Miller. People literally went. You know what? You know what? But you you know what I did, Barry. Before eventually he no, just no, stops no, and no. goes. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kaiser oh. Neko made a video of that. I saw it. Yeah, you know, you know Barry. You, you know what? Uh -huh. no. you, you know Barry. Never mind. You already did that yourself. Yeah, I love that clip. It's so goddamn funny. Four hundred and forty-two damage. What Damn. the hell? I got zero kills. You should raise the difficulty on the black on the uh, bot, honestly. Okay. So, did this have a time limit? Yeah, two and a half minutes. Okay. There's a time limit. Get in the door. Get in the door. Get in the door. But to answer the question as to what Warner Brothers property I like, that's kind of a difficult way to answer because, like, failed on the a lot of things. Yeah, like, I like Batman, but which Batman? Because there's different iterations of them. Yeah, there's, like, so many of them, it's not even goddamn funny. Because you have the Batman from the comics, and even then, the, there's too many of them to fucking count. There's the Bru the um, Tim Burton Batman. There's the Bruce, Bruce Tim, Tim. Bruce yeah. Tim Batman. The Christopher Nolan Batman. Everybody the, loves uh, the Christopher Nolan Batman. I mean, to be actually, from what I've heard, people do like the Christopher Nolan Batman, but I've seen so many people be cynical about the Batman, about the Dark Knight movies. They're like, they've done damage to the move to the to Batman himself. Like, would you people quit your goddamn cynical, cynical bullshit just because the bat, just because the bat, the Dark Knight movies it's the ended backlash. up leading? Yeah, and I think another another reason why so many people are bitchy and whining about the Nolan movies is because they started the trend of the dark and brooding Batman. Uh, I miss no. the in no, Batman. No, 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 I, no, that is dead wrong. You, you, it is not Nolan's fault for that shit. No, Warner Brothers did that because they had the wrong impression. Don't blame yeah. Christopher Nolan doing that. He just wanted his own spin. The movies, yeah, yeah like, people love those. Oh, Batman Beyond. I loved Batman Beyond, that was Jedi. Good. Yeah. Batman Beyond was goddamn great. Here's the thing. The studio, like, Bruce, Tim, and the others made a good thing out of a bad situation. Because, like, <laughs> Warner Brothers pushed him to put out, like, a younger Batman for, like, the kids and all that. And they decided to, like, make it this even grittier thing with him being, like, with the former Batman being his mentor and all that shit. So... Which makes it cool. The only thing I don't, I did not like about Batman Beyond was um, <sighs> the big reveal about um, about Terry McGinnis. Oh well, actually, I didn't mind that. Like, okay, so for anybody who's unfamiliar, and little warning, spoilers. You know how when when Terry McGinnis starts off, he loses his dad right similar to batman and that's what kind of motivate that's kind of also what motivates terry to become oh. the next batman he lost his father and he didn't want the crime in gotham to continue in this direction seems relatively good another good example of crime taking someone away from you here's the big pro here's the big twist that genuinely really what really pissed happened? off a lot of people so as it turns out Terry's well, dad from the very beginning of the series was not his father. No, his, here's the thing. It was still his father. His just his his, his DNA, DNA got his DNA got rewritten to that of Bruce's. Which uh, again, I like the fact that they still kept the dad kept it as the dad, but at the same time, it just implies that the only reason he was so good as Batman was just because oh, well he had Batman genes in himself. No, it didn't. Like they even said, like his own, he had his own way of doing things, his own way of learning things. It was all but his own. Even it, like Bruce would help him now and again, but it was still his own hard work in the end. Uh, it just feels so damn forced, and it was again just because of the fucking lady who who did the whole stupid um. Oh yeah, uh, Amanda project. Waller. Which Amanda just, Waller. Yeah. Which, again, I know that's supposed to be her shtick because she's the bitchy, evil, like, 
I do what I have to do type of thing. And like, just by the ma- means kind of bullshit. Yeah, but Jesus Christ, fuck that shit. I, I do know. like the fact that the revelation that the person who killed <laughs> um, Bruce's... Uh, who, I do like that there is a reveal that... Um, what? Well, I like that, how they tie it into the um, mask, of the that, that mask of the phantasm. Yeah, with, like, where it was. Phantasm. Yeah, where it was revealed again. Spoiler to mask of the phantasm, where it was revealed that Amanda was gonna hire Phantasm, aka uh, to kill Terry McGinnis's dad. But despite the fact of everything Both that Phantasm went through, they pretty much t- up and told Amanda Waller to shove it up her ass. Yeah. Oh, Thunder, uh, Thunder Kid, I'll be fine. I'm exper- like, yeah, I'm just experiment. Oh my god. What the Wow! What? Wow! What wow. The- Are you effing Jeez. serious? It, what what is- do you do to the damage? Is it just whoever, like, falls or dies for it? Like, what do you- I- Wait, did I miss something? That- I, maybe try enough. again. Maybe try again. Yeah, that that seems too. Like, I, for try some again. reason, I couldn't double jump. Did can Taz not double jump? I'm it's pretty. Set, much... Why is it under? Oh, it under... you have you have one ring outs in the thing, and like no. Yeah, game but I did. I, I had try fixing that. Trying to free for all uh, highest yeah. score. Four. No, let's just do highest score. <sighs> There was also um, the Gotham Batman, even though that version of Batman right. never really got explored. Let's remember the Batman Beyond scene, and of course, the most repressed people of all, gamers. Jesus well, that was a thing. I don't remember much of Batman Beyond because. You know, it was young like a kid. scene where some like nerd who had like I mean I think in the previous episode he had like a control over a robot or something, but he was in like juvie and he suddenly got like psychic powers or something. What the fuck? <sighs> Jesus Christ! Also, also, let's be real. One of the things that I wish that multiverses were to do, and I'm hoping they do this because okay, if they're actually listening to the fans. I really want them to do this. I want them to put Static Shock in the game. Oh, hell yeah. I'd be down for that. That would be great. Because God damn, Static Static Shock was a good show, and I know that Static himself is a great character. The sad thing is, since Young Justice was cancelled, well, because of the Zaslav shit, (sighs) that's the only other thing, like, uh, Static has been in. Oh, uh, you wait, they actually canceled Young Justice again? Yep. What again. the fuck is wrong with this moron? They he is literally just looking at all these properties that are making Warner Brothers bank and he's like, Yeah, get rid of them. He's yeah, making them. he's made making Bob Chapek look like a saint. He's making like Netflix look decent right now. <laughs> and Netflix is the same company that literally will look at good shows and be like we yeah, have Stranger Things. Because, I mean, <laughs> considering Netflix's output this year with anime hit shit, I'm, it's like they're, they've been the most creative force so far as far as streaming services with anime hit shit. Gee, hmm, maybe it's because animation is much well appreciated by the mass audiences instead of assuming that it's just for kids. Speaking yeah, of which, I, watch Wendell and Wilde on Netflix. No, uh, I've heard it. Uh, Rise, uh, I think something's going on with the Rise's end. Oh no! Oh right. boy! Uh, yeah. Uh, let me try and host it then. I, I have decent internet. Sure thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave this lobby and just wait for you, Riley. Okay. Anyway, um, what was I gonna mention? Miss Saturday. Um, good show. Good dang good show. Kind of a shame that one of the reasons it got canceled was because literally they didn't have a toy deal, and that was enough for like. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. They back then in the sixties, they're in. I mean, not in the sixties. Back in the early, in the late two thousands, if you didn't have a toy deal, they canceled your show. Wait, did I do it wrong? That is so fucking stupid. Despite the fact that Static Shock was a highly praised show and it had great stories and the characters were good and it had a really good story arc. Wait, wait, what, hold what on, guys. Oh, uh, something um, wrong? Are we in a? Are we in a lobby or? I don't know. No, Golden you're... left the lobby. No, I mean, I trying to. I thought I he made a lobby. He started a new lobby. Yeah. Oh. 
Hmm, weird. I'm trying to figure out. I've never made a lobby in this game before, so it's like... Does okay. every IP have to have merchandising? Apparently yeah. to these idiots, yes. They have to have they have to have to a certain merchandise. Okay, how do I make a... Trust me, when I read that shit, I was goddamn right, pissed Ryza, off. What were you saying, Ryza? Oh, Leave that room that you're in. Uh, okay, how do I... Leave party. Go straight right. down. Straight down to the left. Alright. 